We'll get into LeBron <laughs> right now, though, uh, who's played in a record 20th All-Star game. Hitting that historic mark had him contemplating his basketball mortality. LeBron said this about his future over the weekend. I have not mapped out how many seasons I have left. Um, I know it's not that many. Um, I also don't know if I will. I was asked this question a couple of days ago. Will you kind of take the farewell tour or will you kind of just Tim Duncan it? I'm 50-50. Um, I'm going to be honest because there's times where I feel like I guess I owe it to my fans that's been along this journey with me for two decades plus. But the other side of I've never been that great with accepting like praise. I've, it's, a, it's a weird feeling for me. Um, I never really talked about it much, but it's just a weird feeling for me. But I don't know. Um, but I am a Laker and uh, I, I am I'm happy and been very happy being a Laker the last six years. And, uh, and hopefully it stays that way. Um, but I don't have the I don't have the answer to how long it is or you know, which uniform I'll be in. Hopefully it is with the Lakers. It's a great organization and so many greats. But but we'll see. I don't know how it's going to end, but it's coming. It's coming for sure. Mm, interesting. LeBron 50-50 on how he'll say goodbye. Shannon, I want to ask you this. Of the elder stars, when we're talking LeBron, KD, Steph, who's the most likely to get one more title? I think Steph currently, as the Warriors are constructed, is least likely. Um, you look at LeBron and AD. I think Book, KD, cancel out LeBron and AD. Now you're looking at Bradley Beal and you're looking at D'Lo because that's where you're going to go because I think it's your third guy because I think AD and LeBron can cancel out Book and KD. And so right now, I would say by the slightest of margins, I would give KD... And, and, and his situation, a slightly better, but not by much. If it had to be anything, I'd probably say 51-49 if I'm equating it to 100% of the pie. Because I think the way Steph Curry is and the way that team is, I don't really think they have a very good chance of getting there. Unless maybe next year in the offseason, they bring somebody in and get a bigger piece. But right now, we're talking about right now in the moment, I'm going to say KD and, and, and situation is slightly, slightly better. But it always comes down because LeBron is in year 21. A, a, hurt, a, a, a help comes down. We know AD has been injured a lot, but this year he's been relatively healthy. I think it's the healthiest he's been since that pandemic year in which they ended up winning the title. So I would say slightly Kevin Durant and, 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 and his situation is slightly better, but not by much. But if you told me LeBron James is going to be injury free for the remainder of the season and Anthony Davis, Stephen A is going to be injury free for the remaining of the season, I think I might flip that because I think D'Lo has been playing unbelievable since that trade, those trade rumors. Now he knows he's not going to be traded and he's been playing extremely well. But I think Bradley Beal is what tilts me, tilts me towards the uh, Suns as opposed to the Lakers because I think Bradley Beal is a better player and a more consistent player than D'Lo. I feel you. All of those are reasonable, um, reasonable breakdowns. But I'm here to tell you, Shannon, I'm going to roll with the Warriors on this question. I'm going to roll with the, the, Warriors. the Warriors. The Warriors. I said it. I didn't stutter. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I don't think the Lakers could shoot well enough. And ultimately, that's what it's going to come down to. When you look at Denver and its size, when you look at Minnesota and its size, okay, I'm looking at those guys. I'm looking at Oklahoma City's ability to shoot the basketball. I'm looking at the Clippers and how lethal they are offensively. And I see plenty of teams that could get in the Lakers' way because of the Lakers' inability to shoot. The basketball. I think Phoenix is compromised somewhat defensively. I can't trust uh, them defensively, and I think that's ultimately what it comes down to. KD, Booker, and Bradley Beal, lethal weapon three, no doubt about it, but they got something to prove, okay? I got to see it because I got news for you. We all know how I feel about KD, one of the greatest scorers in the history of this game, a two-time champion, the two-time NBA Finals MVP. He ain't been out of the semifinals, okay, since he left Golden State. That's just a fact. Now, it had a lot to do with Kyrie getting hurt that time against Milwaukee because I believe True. Kyrie. I believe Kyrie when he says, if we didn't, if I didn't get hurt, 
we would have won that series and they probably would have won the chip because I think they would have beaten, uh, obviously if they got bats from Milwaukee, they would have beaten Atlanta in that conference finals and they would have beaten the Phoenix Suns in my humble opinion. So I do believe that the Brooklyn Nets would have won the title, but the fact remains Kyrie did get hurt. James Harden wasn't healthy. KD couldn't do it by himself, although he made he put forth a valiant effort. And then a nose dive from there. He hasn't been out of the semifinals since he left Golden State. That is a fact. Now we get to the Golden State Warriors. Steph Curry is still the greatest shooter God ever created. We saw this. Yet a latest reminder. Saturday night in that three-point shooting contest. It's just what he does. It's just what he does. We've got that going on. Jonathan Kuminga has elevated his level of play, his three-point shooting, his field goal percentage shooting. He gets it now, and his athleticism is off the charts. Draymond Green has, has upped the ante. Defensively, they've really stepped up. Klay Thompson comes off the bench for the first time in years, drops 35. He's the key to me, Shannon. Here's why. If you don't have enough size, what offsets that? Marksmanship because you force the other team to go small because they can't come out on the perimeter and defend you. If the Golden State Warriors with Pajemski, with Kaminga, if Klay Thompson elevates to what we know Klay Thompson can elevate to in terms of just shooting the basketball, he's a 37% shooter from three this year. We know he's better than that career-wise, okay? Now, his athleticism, of course, if his, his, if his success was predicated on athleticism the way Russell Westbrook's success has been, then it would be a different animal because the Achilles and the ACL tear, boom, he's done. But shooters shoot. And if Klay Thompson finds his shot again with Steph Curry playing the way that he's playing and those brothers shooting the basketball the way they shoot, it changes everything. Because they're so undersized, they get pounded night in and night out on the glass. And there's a reason why they move Klay Thompson to the a bench. Can you tell the people at home that don't follow basketball and study the game of basketball like you do? Tell the people at home why they move Klay Thompson to the bench. Because Klay Thompson wasn't making shots, particularly in the fourth quarter. He was struggling. Okay. But now all of a sudden, so half the year he ain't making shots. And th in the rest of the year, we had this conversation last year. Remember, he got upset when we said he's not the same player. I want to show you, he was so convinced that he was the same player and he could even go to another level that he turned down a, what, a three-year, a two-year $48 million deal? Yeah. Now he'd be lucky to get a two-year $20 million deal. That so is he's ridiculous. not the uh, That is ridiculous. Klay Thompson will get $20 million right now. He ain't going to get the 40 he's getting because he's getting 43 million right now he ain't gonna get that but clay thompson is worth over 20 million a year right now it ain't too many dudes in the league that can based shoot on what listen there's not too many dudes in the league that can shoot 37 percent from three-point range shannon you don't have that every day Stephen, let me, that's a bad, let me ask a bad question. year for him Stephen a let me ask you a question am i gonna pay him for what i believe he's gonna do moving forward or i'm gonna pay him for what he did in retrospect combination of both no, hell no. I already paid him. He already got Golden State money for what he did in the past. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. gave him $200 million. Right, but I'm not saying he's going to get $200 million now, Shannon. I'm saying No, I'm you. just saying. The brother worth I about $25 you. million a year. No, you better stop it, Stephen A. What? Clay Thompson's not worth $25 million a year in today's what, you NBA know what? You know what? Let me take that back. Let me take that back. I see some of the salaries that guys are getting. Hell, based on what they're giving some of these guys, he's okay. worth $30 million. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Not, not, but, now, you're, but, now you're talking market value. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> but if you watch his play, he's not the same. And, yes, he that. can get hot and, and have a 35-point night, but I've seen a lot of 11s and a lot of 14s in there sprinkled into that, well, uh, that uh, 35. Well, my retort to that would be this. They lost last year. It wasn't no playing game. Wasn't no first round game. They lost to the Lakers in six games in the semifinals. I'm saying to Why? you that, well, again, you could talk about undersized, but it was primarily because Clay wasn't Clay. But what I'm saying to you is this Pajimski wasn't there, and Kaminga wasn't the contributor that he is now, and, and, and Kaminga's a legit 6 7. And so I'm just saying to you, yes, you, are, you do have a point about them being undersized to some degree, and I'm not denying that. I'm saying that if you have Steph, Kaminga, and Pajimski playing the way that they've been playing, 
if Clay finds his stroke, that alters what you want, to, what you're going to be able to do defensively because you can't stay big going up against them because you're going to have guys that need to be able to get out and defend the perimeter quick enough to prevent them from getting off their shots. And that elevates your chances. I believe that's a reality we can't summarily dismiss. The Lakers can't shoot. To me, I'd give Phoenix a better shot because Phoenix can shoot the damn ball led by the great Kevin Durant. The Lakers have problems shooting the basketball. That is my concern with them. And did you see what the Lakers did? You see what the Lakers did to him? LeBron had a historic night. You remember that night? That 35, 20, and 12? And yeah. AD matched him to boot because yeah. they fall. A man got a career high rebound. Huh? Did that go to overtime? That game go to overtime? It it did go to overtime. I mean, I mean, did there was there some blowout overtime that, wins that count. happened that I missed? Oh, oh, I mean, anything could happen. Oh, oh, go either way. Oh, overtime, overtime wins count. You don't have to just okay. win in regulation. Overtime, double overtime, triple okay. overtime. They still go. Who won the game? The Lakers. That okay, night. Yeah. That night. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. Yeah, that I, night. I, I, I'm telling you right now. You are you sitting here with a straight face and telling me there's no way Golden State can beat the Lakers? Oh, they can't. In a in a in one game, do I believe Golden State can beat the Lakers in a series? No, I do not. Okay. I do not. I believe they can. I believe they can. If Steph Curry, can. if Steph Curry wins a championship this year, he automatically goes into the top five. If he wins a championship with this team, no, Steph Curry saying, belongs not, in the top I'm, five. I'm not saying he will. I'm saying that when you ask who I give the best chance to. Of the three oh, teams no. we mentioned, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying Golden State's going to win it all, but I have faith. I have more faith in Golden State. Winners are six of their last seven, eight of their last ten. I have more faith in what I'm seeing from Golden State than I'm seeing in the Lakers. I can tell you that much. Phoenix is iffy because of the injury situation. Shay, you want to go here one more Bradley time? B yeah, bro, hold on. So you mean to tell me you know we're going to make a move this summer? You know Jeannie and Rob ain't going to stand pat. All right, now, the go. question is, LeBron, how many more years? Now, we can't say five years because I believe LeBron got two great years, two, two more years. great years in. I, got, I, I, believe he, I believe he can get to 23, and then he exits stage left. Yep. Now, that means KD and Steph going to continue to play. But we'll look, I, I think I'm going to be shocked. We're going to talk about this. I'll be shocked if the Lakers don't get to the Western Conference Finals. They just need to avoid uh, – uh, the Nuggets in the first round, which I believe they'll end up being the sixth seed because we're about to make a move. AD, the last game, you saw what AD did, right? You saw, you saw Shannon that. make a move, celebrity all-star game. He made a move. And you saw that? Yeah. That's, yeah, hey, that's what's working behind the Jerry Jones. Saw, Jerry Jones saw, hired those officials. That's what he did. I asked the officials. Oh, that the it's fan? always a conspiracy, conspiracy theory. theory. Cowboy you you theory. noticed that, too? The script. It's always a oh, conspiracy Oh, they handed the official. They Molly, they handed the official the script. 